Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Carrera. If this is your first time here, I make videos about beauty, fashion, wellness, lifestyle, and luxury. So welcome. If this is not your first time here, hey girl, hey, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my October haul. So basically, this is all the items that I bought throughout the month of October. This haul will be a little different from last month because it's not all shoes this time. Um, I got a little bit of everything, some wellness and health and beauty. And I did get a few shoes and um, some clothes as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, what I need you to do first and foremost before we start this is subscribe if you haven't already. Just hit that button right below the video there. Also, if you'd like to be alerted every time I put out a new video, just hit that bell right next to the subscribe button and it will notify you every time I put out a video, which will be every Wednesday. But just in case you forget, that little notification bell will help you out. So, if you've done all that, let's get started. First, we're going to start with the wellness. Once again, forgive me if you see me looking down. I'm just looking at my notes. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys here is this water bottle. It's a 64-ounce water bottle. Basically, um, if you know me, you know I am a heavy water drinker. I've always drank a lot of water. I used to have a water bottle just like this, but it broke. So, when I went to go buy a new one, I upgraded to a gallon-sized water bottle, which was all good and everything, but... People forget to tell you that the more water you drink, the more you run into the bathroom. And you would think that'd be common sense, yes, but you don't realize how much you will run to the bathroom if you're drinking a gallon of water a day. And it got to the point that it was like, I kept having to be interrupted during the work day. Even at night, I would be getting out of the bed multiple times at night to use the bathroom. And it was just too much. So I downgraded back to the 64 ounce, just to make sure I'm getting enough water in the day. I already drink a lot of water, but I just want to make sure I'm getting a minimum 64 ounces. What I've noticed since I've got back down to the 64 ounces, I still drink a little bit more than this, but I'm not forcing myself to try to drink that gallon like I used to. Because even with that, it was difficult to try to do it because I'm like, all right, I'm at work. I got so much to do. I don't want to keep stopping and have to go to the bathroom. And my the restroom near my uh, office is not very close, so it's like pretty time consuming to do so. This seemed to be the best bet for me. Um, this, along with everything you'll see in this video, will be linked below as always. So if you're interested, the cool thing about this too, I don't really follow it, but like if you're a person who wants to increase your water intake, it has like times on here and like little motivational sayings to kind of motivate you to drink the water. So like for instance, it starts at 7 a.m. and ends at 9 p.m. And each increment has like a little saying, like 7 a.m. says good morning, then 9 a.m. says you got it, 11 a.m. says don't stop, and then so on and so forth. Um, you can see it here. If not, um, like I said, I'll link it below and you can take a look and see if it's something that you're interested in. But um, yeah, this is a great item to have if you're a person who's interested in making sure that you get enough water daily. So, all right, next on to, I guess this could be. Kind of wellness, but more so beauty related. This is uh, to do with skincare. So two purchases I made. Um, that was from Amazon too, that water bottle. But these next two purchases were also from Amazon. So this next thing I'll show you here is turmeric powder. Now, from what I understand, turmeric has a lot of health benefits. You can use it in cooking. But the purpose of this turmeric powder is basically to make a mask, a turmeric mask. Um, I had watched a YouTube video, one blogger, she basically said she used this for I think like a week and it helped with her hyperpigmentation and I do suffer from hyperpigmentation so that's what made me get it to try it out. As you can see it hasn't been opened yet so I haven't tried it out just yet. If you'd like to see a video of my progress with it, let me know in the comments below and um, I'll definitely make a video about this. I can't remember the YouTuber's name who I saw do this. Sorry girl, but if I can remember, I'll have her name in the description or somewhere on the screen here. But yeah, so I plan on doing a turmeric mask with this. If you've used turmeric before to do a mask, let me know. What was your experience like? Did it work? Would it help with your hyperpigmentation or acne scars or anything like that? So, okay, so um, in this last week, I've gotten some renovations done in my house. So some of the stuff that, you'll, that I'll show you, I haven't even used yet or anything like that. So like this next thing, I haven't even taken it out the box. So this is kind of going to be like an unboxing as well. Um, basically, it is a facial steamer. So I had been reading some reviews on facial steamers and the benefits of it. Um, basically, the purpose behind them 
is to open up your pores so that when you do different masks, uh, they can absorb the product better. You're supposed to have overall better results when using the facial steamer with your face mask. Some users I've seen that use this, they use this in place of going to get um, facials done. I don't get facials done on a regular. I have them had them done before, but this basically for my at home mask that I do. So yeah, like I said, it, I hadn't even opened it yet, so we're opening it together. It might be a lot to put this together on screen. If it takes too long, I'll just put a picture in here for you guys to see. But let's see. You know from what I've seen, you pretty much put this part on top and the steam comes through and you kind of just sit your face in here so the steam can open up your pores. So I, I wanted to be able to do both the turmeric mask and do something with the steaming prior to shooting this video, but like I said, I was getting renovations in my house and it just wasn't feasible for me to get it done this week. So this is what it looks like. I guess this is the pour water, yeah, because it's like a measurement on the side there looks to be like some tools I guess some like extraction tools to extract blackheads and whiteheads this is pretty cool if you guys want to see a video on that on the benefits of using a facial steamer let me know and I can do that for you as well the next purchase I got was from free people so the next two items are from free people the first thing that I got was a pair of jeans. I'm currently wearing the jeans, so I will put an insert of what they look like uh, on the side here. Yeah, I think on the side there. Oh, somewhere on the screen. These are the Curvy Mid-Rise Destroyed Skinny Jeans. I've been eyeing these for a while because of the distressed detail at the bottom of the jeans. I really enjoyed it. Only thing, and I read this in the reviews, but I said I'm just going to wing it see how it goes but they said that the distress pattern at the bottom of the jeans differs for each pair so i was praying that it would turn out the way that the picture on the website uh looked and it didn't exactly like the back of the jean looks like how the front looked on the website and that's kind of how i wanted the front to look but it didn't but i don't know i might can manipulate them a little bit to look like that if i wanted to but we'll see but they're very comfy so i'm definitely going to keep them because at this point, I don't have any blue distressed denim. I recently got rid of a lot of denim recently because your girl been squatting. So <laughs> um, a lot of my jeans didn't fit anymore. So I recently got rid of probably like three, four pairs of jeans. So I got these. Very comfy fit. I do wish that the waist came a little higher. I like my jeans high rise. Um, simply because I don't even really wear jeans that much. But when I do, I want them to be comfortable. Because I like to feel comfortable when I dress. So... Most times if you see me walking around, if I'm not going to work or going to an event, I'm in tights, workout gear or something like that. So if I have to wear clothes, I want them to be comfortable, especially my jeans. So I do wish they sat a little higher, but either way, they're, they're still pretty cool. So I'm going to keep them. These retailed for $78. Of course, you know, I had a coupon, so I didn't pay $78 for them. The cool thing about free people. They send you coupon codes on your birthday and your half birthday. So my half birthday was recently and they sent me a 15% off coupon for a coupon code. So I used that to get those jeans. And also this next item that I'm about to show you. This blank New York Python pencil skirt. It's here. Now I feel like right here on this screen just showing it to you doesn't do any justice for it. it makes it look a little cheesy a little like cisco in the 90s type of look i don't know but when i put it on which you'll see here it looks so much better once i style it it's so cute so comfortable got a nice stretch to it recently i've been loving the python print trend i might have mentioned that in one of my videos before but yeah i'm on it python print this trend has been been around for a couple seasons i'm hoping it'll be a little bit a, little, a few more as well because this skirt i plan to get some wear out of it and the blank new york brand funny enough this is my first time buying something from this brand but i've been eyeing them for a while because they make these cute like suede leather coats which i got one today for this video as well that i'm going to show you so yeah i've been i've been eyeing them for a while the, especially their leather coats but i see that they do like a lot of suede skirts and jeans and leather pants and things like that too so 
this video i actually got two items from them interested to see how they hold up because i like the way that the items look by the brand and they, they're sold like everywhere i first seen that brand at urban outfitters like years ago probably back in like 2017 and now i pretty much see them like everywhere like i said free people i've seen them on zappos i've seen them on revolve so you can pretty much find that brand anywhere so yeah this is this skirt I'm loving it. On to the next item that's a blank New York item suede leather coat. Now, I bought this coat because of this fringe detail on the back. However, I'm probably going to send this coat back simply because, I mean, it's very cute. The style is cute. I love me some fringe. I lo lo love me some fringe. If y'all haven't been able to tell from some of my previous videos, I always got something with some fringe in it. But. The color is not what I expected it to be. I expected it to be more of like a brownish color and it's kind of more like an orangish rust copper color. I don't know. I was just hoping for something darker and this is a little bit too bright for me. So I don't know, I'm contemplating, but I'm gearing more towards taking it back. Although I love this fringe and I've been eyeing this for a minute and I waited for it to go on sale because it did retail for, let me see. I think I forgot to write down the, re the retail amount, but I'll put it on the screen here, but I got it for $90. So I jumped on it when it, when the price went down to that amount and I was so excited to get it. Then I pulled out the box. I'm like, that's not look like the picture. I'm gonna put the picture in here too so y'all can see in comparison what I'm talking about. Cause I had some brown boots that I was gonna style it with. I just knew I was gonna be killing it. <laughs> but it was like, nah, girl. <laughs> we hit you with the bright orange. So let me know in the comments what you think. If I should take it back or I should keep it. I don't know. Cause I could still make it work, but it's just like I was hoping for something brown. So I don't know. It's probably going back. Also, like this next purchase I'm about to show y'all. These are probably going back to Steve Madden Road Boots. Color Tan Snake. Once again, on this Python trend. Now, the style of this boot is so cute. I've been looking for a pair of Python boots for a minute now because, like I said, I love this trend. But because it is this trend, I didn't want to spend too much money on a boot that is this print. So... There's a lot, lot like everybody's making Python print boots this season. So a lot of people have them, but I didn't want to pay that much for them if in like a year or two, I'm not going to want to wear them anymore. I mean, I probably could sell them, but just didn't want to do it. So my reservation with these boots is that they look a little cheap to me in person. <laughs> Online, they looked a lot better. But... In person, I don't know, like, for one, online, they look like they just were, like, a thick leather and it stood straight up. This is probably my fault. I should have probably read the description. Well, at least I thought I read the description about the material. I don't know. But I thought it was, like, a thick leather, but it's not. And, like, when you put them on, they slouch a bit. And I wasn't looking for a slouch. I wanted something thick and stiff. I was looking for something that just didn't move, okay? So, this slouchiness. I don't really like it, and I think they're going to go back. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Do these look cheap to sell? Now, like, that's that's the thing with Steve, Steve Matt, and they're hit or miss. Like, you can get some boots from them, boots and shoes, and they look quality, they look good. Then other times, you get something that looks cheesy. They retail for $150. I ended up paying $105 for them. Um, I had a coupon code, and... I have, I'm a part of their like rewards program and I had a $10 reward code. So that's how I got them down to that price. But let me know what y'all think. I love the style, but uh, I don't know about this slouchy, weird material. All right, so that's all my purchases for the month of October. I actually purchased a few more things, but they didn't get here in time for me to shoot this video. So they'll be in my November haul. But that's it for the items that I have. If you like it, please be sure to give this video a thumb up. Um, let me know what some of your favorites were down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about those items that I talked about sending back. If you think I should keep them. If I should send it back or if you want to buy it off me. Whatever. Just let me know something in the comments. I would appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you again for watching. And I will see you again in my next video.